Hello and welcome to another video in Crusader Kings 3. Today we'll be buffing one of the smallest nations in the game and that is going to be Malta. Malta is this very tiny nation that is one province and so I buffed the living bejesus out of them. I try to make them as buff as possible because I want to see how much this one tiny nation can expand across the entire map. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it. Right off the back, you might ask, what did I do to make this nation so buff? To be honest, what I mostly did to make this nation buff is I gave the ruler perfect stats and I made him immortal. So pretty much they have one of the best rulers on the planet. I also gave him more prestige and piety and also made all their buildings fully built and gave them a hundred development so they're pretty buffed uh they should conquer the entire world by the end of the year um not the end of the year end of the game so let's go ahead and see if they actually will conquer the entire world to make the game even more interesting i gave malta their own religion as well so it's going to be interesting to see how much they spread their own religion it's a religion no one else even has so whatever gets spread is going to be based off of them or someone converts to their religion this nation will also likely snowball so at first they will be probably very weak they'll expand in a very small increments but they will probably just get more and more powerful the more they expand because they only start with one county and so every piece of land they take will ex make them extremely more powerful so it might take more while to get started but once they get started they probably will rule the world also if you guys like this idea i thought it would be funny to make luxembourg op so if you really want to see luxembourg be op make sure to leave a like and i'll probably do that as one of the future videos i thought that would be funny and cool because that usually happens in hoi 4 like they get buffed not win the world because luxembourg yeah you understand what i'm saying hey France, this video is not about you. Stop trying to make it about you, France. I know you took England over somehow. Don't really know how you did it, but you're going to lose the land. So I'm going to need you to stop trying to make it about you. And we'll go back to Malta, who uh, somehow conquered Croatia. Don't know why they did that, but they just decided that, oh, this small little island. No, no, no. We want Croatia. And we want to border the Byzantines right at the start. Why? I don't know. They just want to have a tough game for some reason. I buffed them a lot, but the Byzantines are still... OP in this game. Not not even that. They're now bordering the two most powerful na nations in the game right now. May maybe two of the most powerful nations. They border the Byzantines and the HRE. And in the beginning of this game, they are two of the most powerful nations. So they could actually lose this land here because they are buffed, but not that buffed. You know, there's only so much buffing I can do without making it unreasonable. France, England, and HRE are causing some border problems uh now england's in aquitaine and hre took some land out of the aquitaine area and france lost the part of england and aquitaine they're just they're making it confusing and i might just stay away from this area for a little bit and focus on how malta is attacking the byzantines actually that is much more interesting and is kind of my favorite thing in the world i, I hate the byzantines and oh Good job, Malta. You just took some land from the Byzantines. Maybe they are quite OP. I swear I did nothing with this area over here, but now Galicia has England and Southern France and Galicia. I, I don't know what's happening. I didn't do anything to this area, but it's acting really weird this game. Um, That's why it's kind of cool. That's why I kind of like CK3. You never know what some thing is going to happen, something weird, you know. I, I'm going to start not to mention whatever this dumb crap. France is now eaten up by Galicia as well. I, I don't know what's happening, but this is so cool, but like, I don't, I don't get it. It's so weird at the same time. It's like in here. You know what? Yep. I, I'm just not going to say this, this area. We're not mentioning it the rest of the video unless something really cool happens. Malta's religion is expanding. As you can see, the religion is uh kind of cool. Malta is the best is the religion and it's, it's, it's spreading. And soon Malta is the best will be across the entire world. You just wait. It's going to happen. Trust me. I, I know uh, they're at war with the Byzantines and Hungary and they're going to win both the wars because there's nothing that's going to stop Malta at this point. They are pretty much unstoppable, even though they don't have that much land and they're kind of expanding pretty slow for what I want them to do. And I don't know if they're going to get like even half the world because they're going super slow but maybe they'll speed it up we have some weird borders with ruthenia and this other nation here they're like just surrounding ruthenia i don't know why if they combine together they pretty much have the uh, empire of russia so it's kind of not out of it to see that 
Also, Malta, they're doing great. They're really going after the Balkans. I think they're going to get them eventually. The Byzantines are dying because they're getting weakened by Malta, so other nations are starting to beat them up too. So it's going to be interesting to see what really happens now. Malta is just playing with their food. I don't know why they're not taking out the kingdoms or something, but like, look at this, what they've done to Hungary. Hungary looks disgusting. Come on, Malta, just take them out at this point. Show them mercy. Also, I would love to see you invade Africa at some point too, but you're just like messing with Hungary here. This is just, they're, they're playing with their food. They, they need to actually just go ahead and take them out. There has been an interesting side effect from belting uh, Malta. Georgia is looking really good. This is not the state, sorry for all those people down in Georgia. Uh, this is the country and they're looking quite good. Uh, since the Byzantines have been weakened, it has allowed Georgia to expand here. So I always like it when there's like these buff nations that allow for other nations to strive too. Same with this uh, orange nation down here. They've been able to expand as well. So Georgia is looking pretty good and I've never actually seen them do decently. So it's cool to see them actually doing something this game. Of course, the Mongols are here. I don't think they should affect our Malta, but they could kill the Georgia that I was talking about, which I'll be upset about, but they, they shouldn't reap Malta. Usually they collapse before that. They, they could get pretty close, but I, I doubt it, to be honest. I, I think they'll collapse before they get here. Hopefully. I don't remember them doing something to make Scandinavia more stable, but every couple games, they've been looking really good, really united. Like Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark all look really good. They kind of look like the start of EU4, where like everything else has a horrible border war. They kind of look very con consolidated, and it's quite impressive that this is happening several games in a row. So, yeah, you see it on the screen. <laughs> I've never seen this before. The Byzantines took over the HRE. <laughs> That's interesting. I've never seen that. I don't think they're going to keep the territory, but it's pretty cool. The Byzantines now have the HRE, so they're two empires, so they're pretty powerful. Quite cool to see. Never seen it before. Um, that's why we do these games is because you never know what's going to happen because this is, this is quite interesting. Yeah, if you didn't hate the Byzantines before, you're going to hate them now. Look what they're doing to the HRE. This is by far <laughs> the worst Puerto Rico I've ever seen. And I say that every single episode. This is awful. This is this is like close your eyes, don't look at this. This is some of the worst Puerto Rico I've ever seen. It's bad. And I ooh. Yeah. It's bad. So Malta's kind of getting bored of the Byzantines, so they're going after Poland, and Poland's not doing so good. They really need to kill these blue guys so they connect their borders, because it's just kind of ugly they also need to take this land it's also kind of weird that they kind of started at this small little island here off of italy and africa and haven't even touched africa and they've barely touched italy they've just gone for the balkans for some reason which i don't really know what the ai is thinking there i don't really know why they decided to do that it's kind of interesting to see them just shoot upwards I, I mentioned the Mongols, so I'll also mention that they did collapse as well. They're they're no longer here. They're they're gone, like usual. Malta's borders are really looking good now. Um, they are very united. They've kind of taken out all these small stuff that was in the way, and I think they're going for the entire Europe. They've got a lot, like a hundred, like sixty years left, and I think they could get most of Europe in that time. To be honest, it's it's looking it's looking super good and i think they're gonna do it especially because the byzantines are out of it and georgia's kind of falling apart right now come on malt you made georgia the, the nation they were and you decided to kill them too Malta, the power has gone to your head. You need to chill out. You're gonna, you're gonna take out everyone. Like you might even take out Iceland at some point, and that's a little too far. Make sure to not do that. I enjoy it so much when I complain to a country and they listen to me. Malta has decided to invade Africa. They have Africa over here, and they're starting to go after the Egypt. So. Good job, Malta. Thank you for listening to me. Now you can go conquer the rest of the world because uh, I might just skip it to the close to the end because they are going to get a lot of this world. Uh, it's going to be insane. We have 100 years left and Malta's going for the world conquest. I think they can do it. 100 years, they could do it. Really, the only person that's standing in their way is the Pope. So if they kill the Pope, they should be good. And also the religion beautiful malta is the best is everywhere um i'm surprised i don't think they for oh they did form their custom um empire so 
Yeah, I think they're gonna rule the world. It's possible that they'll get pretty close. I don't think they will, but they'll, they'll get pretty close to conquering the world. I, I'm pretty excited. We are at the end day, a little past it, and Malta really did conquer most of the world. I might come back in a little bit if this isn't the end to show you them conquering the entire world because I thought it would be cool. Um, their religion spread pretty far. Malta is the best, will conquer the world for some point culture. They didn't expand their culture too much. It's pretty much where it started. There's a little bit up here in Europe. But overall, it was cool to see this nation really strive. It was really weird to see what was happening over here in the beginning of the game. But if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. You can see they definitely changed the empire titles. But thank you so much for watching this video. See you later. Have a good one. Bye and have a nice day.